Hi, my name's Kerry. I'm one of the account managers here at Mortgage Brain, and today I'm going to be showing you how easy it is to get an indicative guide as to the costs and interest rates available in the current market. The screen in front of us at the moment is the initial landing page after logging into Sourcing Brain, and you can see on the far left, second option down, we have the option for browse. On the screen that loads, you'll be able to see the main purchase types available, so residential buy to let, first time buyer home mover and remortgage. You do have the option to view all of the products that sit with the different lenders in your lending panel, or you can select a specific lender if you wanted as well. For the purpose of today's demo, I'm just going to leave it set as a residential home mover and include all, include all of the lenders in our lending panel. In the bottom right hand corner, I'm just going to click on to browse. Now, you'll see in a moment when this screen loads, we are going to be met with quite a few zeros. Now, that's purely because we haven't yet added any values into the system in order for it to start calculating for us. If you want to add those in, you just simply need to select onto amend scenario. Now, the browse function does tend to be used outside of the advice process, and this is purely because this pop-out box doesn't have any mandatory fields. So you can add what you want to in order to filter the products that show behind. I'm just going to pop in some property details for the purpose of today. And press apply. Now we should shortly see the results screen start to update based on the information we've just input. Towards the top right hand side, you can see we have the option to show details. If we click into there, you'll see now we've created this pop out box on the right hand side. So any additional information we've been given from the lenders will appear on the right hand side of the screen for you. And there's no need to press on show details every time. The text will update depending on the product you have highlighted on the screen in front. The screen can also be reordered with a simple left click on any of the column headers, like so. And this group tool on this screen is also quite handy. So if we click into group and press onto group by lender as an example, you'll see now our display setup has slightly changed and we've got this nice tidy list. If you wish to expand on any of the lender's products, just simply press on the arrow to the far left. To change your display back, we just need to go back into group and press on to no group him. You do also have the option to view any of the lender notes from this screen. And in the bottom right hand corner, you can switch to a full source as well if you wanted. Any of the information that you've added into your scenario will pull through to the sourcing screen for you. So there's no need for you to double key. I hope you found that useful and you'll take advantage of the browse mode in the future. For any more hints and tips on sourcing brain, please log on to mortgagebrain.com.